Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Nano Leads of Dawn. I remain your host, Shadow Fury 333, and to this match, we're continuing, so not just today, but we are going to be doing a match between Felthos and Rar on Hide and Seek, which is Felthos's turf. So we'll see how this goes. Don't want to say too much, but yeah, Felthos. I've seen some. I've seen Felthos play this map a lot. I'm pretty sure this is their favorite map, or one of them. So, I wouldn't be surprised if they did well. And Rar going for gunships, so Rar at least going for the standard cheesy kind of play they like to go for. Last game they went for very, well not really standard, but they went for amphib, duck oriented play. They didn't really use their commander at all. And now they're going for gunships. Super early gunships. That seems more promising. While Failthos, on the other hand, going for a relatively standard Cloakybot factory, and I should point out this is the absolute latest version which has a slight nerf to Warriors, but they're still better than they were before all that buffing happened. So that... That works, I guess. I mean, Failthos still playing around with a relatively powerful factory. Though not really worried too much about actually building units. They have the one Glade for scouting, that's about it. Rar, on the other hand, they have the one crane. I mean, they're using the crane for what it does best, which is to build at wild, at just very distant locations. Although, frankly, this isn't that distant, but still, cheating out expansions, that's a thing it does. It's a thing that Flipstip does, but we're not seeing Flipstip this game. But if you remember from last week, that was a pretty cool game. Anyway, Felthos, already going for anti-air. They're, they're where the gunship plant. I mean, they must be. They, Yeah, they're fully aware, but we see their ghosts. They know the gunship plants there. They, they're they fully aware. And that Razor is a really good choice. So Failthos right now, pretty well prepared defensively. Not much in the way of offensive options, but that's fine. I mean, that's the thing they have to worry about right now is the cheese. They don't know if it's going to be Blastwing. They don't know if it's going to be a drop. They don't know if it's going to be Banshee, Rapier, whatever. Looks like Banshee. And the Gremlin should be up soon enough, probably, to be able to build that up. But then these Glaives... Okay, one going for... Is it going for scouting? Ah, double-checking if Cranes are in the southeast... No, okay, yeah. Double-checking to see if Cranes have gone over to the southeast and northwest. Figuring out what hidden expansions or what distant expansions or what out-of-the-way expansions have been taken. And they will find the, the northeast expansion. Felthos is on point there. Very good choice. Glad to see that. Not super, prepared, not super prepared for Banshees, mind you. There's only one Banshee up so far. And with these Warriors up, they will be prepared. Because Warriors just mop the floor with Banshees. Like two or three Warriors against a handful of Banshees. Yeah, that's going to be fine. Gremlin and Razor support. Also great. You want to have as much support as you can get. And Rar is probably going to commit to those Banshees. Once again, not really upgrading their commander too much. Primarily focusing on building up the Banshees, not focusing so much on building up their commander, which seems to be a bit of a theme in these couple of games. And Feltos has already found out the Northwest and Southeast are open, empty, devoid of anything, have not been claimed at all by Rar. Well, the Northeast, however, they're about to find out it is claimed. But Feltos, at the same time, they have a fairly strong economy. They aren't doing poorly. They're still on par. Their energy's a little bit low, but... Metal's on par. And Failthus spots it. So Failthus knows what's up. Rar knows Failthus knows what's up, or at least knows the knows about the south sorry, northeast. Rar doesn't know that Failthus knows about the lack of anything in the southeast and northwest, but that's probably fine. And the warrior not even able to get in range. The banshee scared away already. Rar doesn't even want to deal with this right now. Probably going to build more Banshees. Are they going to? Yeah, they are. They're still building the Banshees. Getting some Cranes and building the Banshees. And Rar's Commander continuing to upgrade, so they are going to focus on Commander. And Failthos, they have... Do they have Radar? They have some Radar. They know that the Banshees are over here. And, yep, they know exactly what's going on. Actually, that was full view. Never mind. But probably do now. And checking the southwest themselves, just to be sure. And no, Feltos is actually pretty defensive this game. They're they're keeping everything within their base. They are not expanding wildly. 
even though they're against... I mean, against planes, it's more of a thing. Against gunships, I can really understand why you'd be more timid. Gunships can hold territory far longer than planes can. Because planes have to return, and they can only bomb so much. A handful of banshees can rip everything to shreds if they're given any opening. That's the thing I've been learning. That's People have pointed out when I mentioned about air. Against planes, I would still say expanding a lot is a good idea, just because, like I said, they can only bomb so often. Against gunships, those things are going to hover around there and just tear your expansions to shreds, so focusing on getting defense up first and not expanding naked is a good idea. That does make sense. I can totally understand the rationale there. And that's what Feltos is doing, and RAR is getting ahead on economy. RAR is taking advantage, full advantage, of the fact that they have cranes, the fact that they have pretty much nothing to worry about, while Feltos is pretty much is entirely afraid. And I'm saying pretty much too often, but... Feltos is afraid. They don't know what to do. I mean, they do know what to do, obviously, because they're pretty experienced players, but they don't have any easy choices, I should say. They don't know what's going to work perfectly. They have to take some risks. They have to be careful. And their economy is falling behind as a result. Rar's economy getting ahead. If these Banshees go, though, if these Banshees are all killed, and the Warrior's going to try to do his best to deal with that, and he's doing a pretty good job, too. Three Banshees down. Not bad. Still, a lot of Banshees are being produced. I don't know if Feltos is aware of this, but that should hopefully give them some confidence. As well as the Gremlins. All these Gremlins walking around here, that's going to be extremely helpful. Because, basically, they can bring some rec some Conjurers around with the Gremlins. Use the Gremlins to protect the Conjurers while the Conjurers expand, and Feltos is able to get their economy going again. Because their economy isn't that far behind, but they're still being very defensive compared to Rar. Rar's expanding, relatively naked in the back here. They haven't expanded to the southeast yet, or generally to the south. I'm actually surprised RAR has not expanded more than they have so far. I'm genuinely surprised. Like, they are apparently worried about counter raids. Feltos is not going for that. Feltos is too concerned about anti-air. Well, well, keeping in good anti-air position. They aren't concerned about counter raiding right now. They will be eventually, but that's one of those things where RAR could probably deal with the front, like, create a further front line and fortify that, and if they have to, they can fortify further back. But right now, that's not a concern. Like, RAR has no reason to be worried. They have to be worried about losing their air force. They don't really have to be worried about getting counter-rated. Especially with Banshees flying around. The Banshees would take care of everything. A bunch of Glaives just ran around, started trying to get back here, take this all out. The Banshees would be all over them. They'd be dead in seconds. No problems. So really, Rar could get away with a lot more expansion than they have. Like they could be expanding over here. They could easily be expanding up here. Maybe over here and over here. Definitely over here. There are a lot of metal extractors that Rar could be taking and aren't. But at the same time, their commander finally in Feldas' base, so I guess that works. Double beam laser, which is kind of scary. Rar already with the view size prepared to deal with this. What are we dealing with here? We have beam lasers, damage boosters, speed, armor, and a bunch of auto repair. And can't be seen on radar, which explains why Feldas was a little bit surprised there. Although they were clearly aware that something was going to happen. Seeing as the size were pretty... They were ready. They were ready for this. But the commander is not going down without a fight. And all oh, that other scythe is not up in time. In the last, all the scythes are gone. The commander will repair that damage within seconds. See, 55 damage per second, and down goes the factory. No more scythes coming up. Not much else left. Shieldbot factory coming in, probably for Racketeer, because that's what you do. Feltos surprisingly still ahead in economy, or not ahead, but still very close in economy. They're not doing too bad for themselves. Even with the commander here upgrading to level 7. Because why wouldn't you at this point? But yeah, even with that, it's still going to work, apparently. It's kind of impressive. I'm really, 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 it's actually pretty good for Feldos that they're able to remain relatively stable. They have the Shieldbot Factory up. There's the Racketeers, that's what I was looking for. And they're going for the counterattack, because why not? I mean, at this point, RAR does have a decent amount of defenses, but their economy isn't that strong. And their main base... Well, okay, there's... There are obstacles that won't work. This this small army will not take out the main base. Probably just looking for... Yeah, is this metal extractor taken? Are these taken? Pick off a few cranes if they're just being taken now, which is actually the case. 
And Rar appears to be setting up shop inside of Feltas' main base. It's almost a one-way base trade. I guess we can call it that. Although I don't think Rar is going to be building up too many factories in Feltas' main base. But yeah, Feltas. They have the Racketeers. They have some bandits for follow-up cover, follow-up damage. Of course, the question is, how well is that going to work? Because Racketeers. 15, 1,500 damage on nearly 9,000 health. That's six Racketeer shots before that commander is disarmed at all. And unfortunately, oh, getting overwhelmed by the Banshees. Failed Haas's forces to the north, getting torn to shreds. Rar, Nice, getting rid of that geothermal plant. Failed Haas's bandits are getting ahead of their getting ahead of their Racketeers, and they are aware of that. Those Racketeers being forced to get in a position before that happens. And there's the six shots. Ooh, just about. Ah, they're getting distracted by that Lotus. But now finally getting targeted, and the commander finally getting disarmed and just floating. No, it's going along its toes. Not sure what's going on there. Frankly, I'm not surprised. Commanders, I mean, at least it's walking. At least there's an animation. It's not just floating around. It's just on his knees or something. It's, it's kneeling. It's a very Catholic commander. And yes, I can make that joke. <sighs> ah, there it goes. It's gotten back up. It's gotten off its knees. It's done praying. Honestly, though, it's not done needing prayers, that's for sure. At least it wouldn't be if these bands would actually hit. And there they go. It looks like the Banshees... Gotten torn to shreds by the gremlins. Rar's commander about to go down. Level 7 commander. Torn apart. The Banshee's forced back as well. I mean, there are a lot of gremlins here. Five gremlins so far. And the Racketeers also disarming all those Banshees would have been a big deal. To make a note of actually switching back and forth between the two. Okay, I screwed up something with the tilt zoom, apparently. Not sure if you noticed, but I've actually been working on fixing the tilt zoom zoom in. It's halfway there. You can zoom... It, right now, my local copy, I can zoom in perfectly. Like, if I p pick a point, zoom in, it's like, just... just works. Doesn't matter how quickly I zoom in, it, it just works. But it's nowhere near done yet. There's a lot of little things to worry about, like what to do on zoom out, and... Well, apparently now if I change the orientation, it doesn't switch back for some reason. Like, it doesn't check whether or not it should start doing tilt zoom again. I think I know what I did to break that. Anyway, so, small update on the coding stuff, which... I don't really want to do much coding stuff afterwards. Not for a long time. But yeah, that's... If you're wondering... But that's not what you probably care about. You probably care about this pack of rapiers going along the side here and Feltas trying to rebuild their base. With the Razor up, that should help a lot against the rapiers. Razors do well against rapiers. They do okay against banshees. But, I mean, between the vandals, gremlins, and a bunch of racketeers here, those rapiers are going nowhere. Actually, where are the gremlins? Seriously, where'd they go? Oh, there they are. Yeah, so... These rapiers trying to go over the south side, trying to get that set up. And Felthos should be aware they're coming in. Okay, they're aware now. Showing up on radar. Showing up visually. And maybe that'll lure them in. Will they be lured in? No. Rar being very cautious, not getting them lured into that razor. Good plan. Still loses a rapier in the process of, a, of retreating. Escaping, I should say. Whatever. Process of escape. Still lose a rapier. Doesn't quite work out. I mean, overall, RAR, without their commander, they're actually doing okay. Their economy is still pretty strong. They did get a strong economy going before they attacked their commander. Invested a lot into the commander. But they still... And how much reclaim is available here, anyway? Come on. Okay, 1,500 metal reclaim. So that would have been somewhere around 6,000 or... No, no. 5,000 or so metal. So about three or 4,000 metal cost. Pretty powerful. Pretty... Well, pretty expensive, at least. 
Yeah, overall, the biggest problem is, of course, that Rar is going for that counter. Sorry, Fail Thoughts, Fail Thoughts is going for the counter offensive. Rar has to deal with that. Rar trying to counter the counter offensive. Got a lot to deal with, though. Though Fail Thoughts, I mean, now that their economy is back on par, Rar had the economic advantage for a long time. They still do. They still have a bunch in storage. They actually need more energy. That's the bigger problem. They can get more energy than Rar should be able to build up pretty quickly. Just get everything built up that they need if they get another caretaker to actually use up those metal resources. Because they kind of need to do that. Which is not a concern for Felthos. Felthos is using up all the resources they have while Rar is not. Nor, like I said, can they on account of not having any power or enough power. Kind of need more of that. Rar apparently going for a bit of a block. Trying to block this off. This is not going to work. There are way too many Vandals. Not a lot of Racketeers, though, but all the Vandals and, of course, the Shields help, too. But still, mostly just... There's a lot of anti-air in this group. Those Rapiers are done. And over here, Disarm, forcing the Shield Ball back. So, Rar being forced back with their Shield Ball. And another Shield Ball coming in to reinforce, but not really sure it's going to actually help. I don't think it will. And this is the attack that's actually going to matter here. Although the Bandit's getting ahead of the Shields and getting destroyed in the process... Way too many bandits being lost here. Still two left, but yeah, those thugs probably could have been... If you hold control while clicking, either right-clicking or line-moving, your units will remain at the same pace. They won't get ahead of each other, which probably is what Felthas should have done right there. Because a lot of bandits died because they got ahead of the shield ball. Wouldn't have happened otherwise. Regardless, Rar is now at the economic disadvantage. Still pretty scary, though. They're not hard... I mean, okay, they're losing a lot of power. Rar is going down in energy, true. But at this point, Felthos, they have to get through quite a lot of army. I mean, Rar has... Well, let's see, seven thugs and three outlaws up top. And another four outlaws, six thugs, seven thugs at the bottom. While, on the other hand, Felthos' force has been kind of split between anti-air and anti-ground. A lot of rogues, but not enough. But the rapiers, with the rapiers gone, that should probably motivate Failthos to go entirely... Or Failthos... I keep calling him Failthos. Should motivate Failthos to go entirely for anti-ground. With the economic advantage, that should be enough. That should get them into a really good position. But right now, it's kind of even. A lot of harassment going on in the back. But not enough. These thugs are pretty much all on a suicide mission. Which sucks for them, but it's good for Rar. But yeah, Rar needs to rebuild their economy. And that army just getting torn to shreds. So a suicide mission on both sides. Failed the suicide mission, I guess, succeeded? The units are all dead. So the suicide was successful. Vandals should probably escape, but... No, they should probably escape. I was about to say, but there's no air units anymore. Yes, there are. There are rapiers being rebuilt. There are definitely air units. And another brawler attack to the south... Getting rid of Rar's south force here. I mean, Rar right now, they were not prepared for an air attack. At all. And of course, the disarm is causing them loads of problems, but they were not prepared for an air attack. They don't have dirt bags to deal with the disarm. As a, It's a pretty useful tool if it's in radar. And they just... Actually, I think in general it's a fairly useful tool. Dirt bags aren't powerless, so disarm is not useless to them. But yeah, as a way of blocking disarm... May not have been a bad idea. But at this point, Rar is way behind on economy. Filthos has... Wow, they have really managed to get back on this. A lot of it being the reclaim here. But even then, only 10 of his reclaim. Most of it is just metal extractors. Rar not rebuilding the northeast metal extractor, which... Yeah, I know, centering is not working as properly. But yeah, Rar not rebuilding the northeast metal extractor, which they really should do, but they aren't. Not really sure to say to that. Honestly, they're kind of... They're really in a tight spot right now. Rar is not doing as strong as I'm sure they'd like to. Getting really tied up in this attack. This this whole force here, just not something they can ignore. But at the same time, their Rar's economy is falling behind. Felthos coming in on all sides. This should pretty much be the game. Rose coming to get rid of the main base. Brawler's tearing apart the disarmed army in the south. No commander or anything is back up. Surprisingly, the rogue's not attacking right now, even though this is a great time to attack. 
Like, Rar has stopped the air... They've stopped any air support. They've stopped building up air, and that's it. Rar throws in the tail. That is game. And I should point out, like, Rar had metal income advantage for almost all the game, except for the last couple of minutes. Rar had a massive metal advantage. I think it just came down to they didn't really take all the metal advantage they could have taken, having gone gunship. They had a lot of room to do that. That and the lack of energy, too, and the lack of production. It's just... They didn't really effectively go past 30 metal per second throughout the entire game. And, of course, losing the commander was a massive blow. I mean, you can see it right here. That's the loss of the commander, right there. Which, is like, right here, which is when, well, metal excess was happening the entire time. Metal income wasn't really changed, but... Yeah, when that spike of units lost, or, well, she unit value, so it was here. Yeah, big spike, lost unit, and at that point, it just... It's hard to really tell in the graph, but yeah, it just fell apart. Valiant effort to get back in the game, but honestly, Rar losing their commander was a massive blow. And Veltos is totally prepared, well, it's prepared enough for that. They already built up a north. They easily built a base in this secluded area. This little grove here, that's a common place for a secondary base. Either protected by a bunch of solar plants, or just protected by a bunch of defensive structures. It's really good. It's a really great way to keep yourself alive. And Ophelia's pointing out the suicide mission back here actually worked because Rar's army was distracted by it. That's a fair point. Thank you, Orphelius. Good, Good call there. It's a very fair point. Anyway, the last game tonight is going to be between Anarchid and Rar on Coagulation March. Marsh. Not March. The March of Curdling Blood. Anyway, no, it's Coagulation Marsh. It's a big swamp of curdling blood. It's a difference. So I'll get to that bloody swamp in a couple minutes. Stay tuned. <laughs> 